Charleston, South Carolina, a city founded by the sons of plantation owners from the Caribbean, was perhaps the most prosperous city in the middle of the 18th century among the American colonies. This wealth was built upon the backs of slaves who grew tobacco, tea, indigo, rice, and cotton. Much of the wealth in Charleston is not only a byproduct of all the natural resources that were being produced on plantations in the low country nearby, but also, uh, also that wealth comes from the sales and transport of slaves from the Caribbean, from Africa, and from other southern states. It's also the home of John Calhoun, a constitutional scholar whose writings inspired the South to secede from the Union. The end of Reconstruction brought about the first public schools for African Americans, as well as the establishment of the African American Church. Um, the end of Reconstruction brought about a new era in which segregation was in implemented and Jim Crow laws denied African Americans the right to vote. Whatever gains had been made were quickly dismissed. Until 1960, when a group of high school students from a nearby all-black school determined to end segregation, began a sit-in movement at the Woolworths on King Street, which began what was known as the Charleston Movement to end segregation. Oh, tell it on the mountain.